Hi, this is Digital Bike Computing. We're going to go over the different parts of a Cisco switch. So this is a standard Cisco switch. Other brand switches may have a similar setup, but we're going to go over this particular switch. So this is a Catalyst 2960 switch. All right. You'll see that these ports up the front here are where your network cables are going to get plugged into. So out of a network cable, if you have a simple setup, you'd have a computer running into one of these network ports. All right. More complicated setups, you may have these going into other switches or into other patch panels, etc. So this particular switch, 24 ports plus an additional two ports, which can be adjusted for the speed or if you can, you can also set up what's called a trunk uh, between two switches together. So what you may want to do is if these ports are quicker, than the rest of them, which a lot of the time they are, you can use these, set them up as a trunk, and then connect one switch to the other switch via a crossover cable. All right, so that's what the basic ports are. On this side here, we've got like a configuration, so you can actually set up, uh, we, like sys, like the system um, checks the statistics of the switch, what speed certain ports are, etc. So you can actually change the mode by pushing the button here and you'll actually see an indication like LEDs listed here. If there's any errors, you may get like an LED of a funny color, like an orange or a red, depending on what you'll see. Generally, they'll be green. Okay, so that is the front of it. On the back, you've got a bunch of fans. All right, you've got additional power supplies as well. Uh, you've got your standard power supply that runs into the back of your switch so standard kettle cable to power it and then on the other end you've got a console port so this console port would be for administration if you want to like, connect to it without having to connect to it through a computer so for example you can connect to it via telnet or via um, putty uh, the console port if you're running a, a cable into that uh, into say a com port on your computer you can actually remotely control that switch uh, without having to connect to it via one of the front ports. All right, so that is the basic steps and the basic setup of a Cisco switch. We're not gonna go over how to configure it using the Cisco iOS software in this tutorial, but that is the basic overview of a switch. So if you found this video helpful, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thanks.